All right, my friends. Um, I, this uh, it's it's the calculator problems, in my opinion, that are always the hardest. Um, but let's try to make sense of some of these. Um, so problem 15 says a particle travels along a straight line with a velocity of V of T equaling three times E to the negative T over two closed quantity times sine of the quantity two T meters per second. What is the total distance in meters traveled by the particle during the time interval from zero to two seconds? Um, so just a comment about this one. Um, if you were to um, just kind of think, oh, okay, well, change in position would be, you know, do the antiderivative of velocity, then you're, you're very close. Um, the problem is going to be in the fact that velocity has a direction component. Um, and so if velocity is positive, then that means that, you know, your particle is moving, let's say, forward. But then if velocity is negative, that means that your um, particle is moving backwards. Now, because this is asking for um, total distance on this particular one, and we'll show how you know, but for this one, since the velocity is sometimes positive and sometimes negative, if you just do a straight up integral from zero to two on this expression, then you're gonna find what's called displacement. Um, so if you did the integral from zero to two of V of T dt, um, then you would just find what's called displacement. So I'll just make displacement. Um, <clears throat> but if you um, look at the velocity function, which it's a calculator section, so we're gonna make our calculators help us with that, what we're going to do is do the part where the velocity function is positive. We'll do a straight up integral for that part of the graph. But then the part where your velocity would have been negative um, to avoid getting like a negative change in position, we're going to evaluate that integral for that part of the graph, but we're going to negate its value. Okay, um, so let's start on that. So um, the first thing is I would look at the graph of v of t, okay? Um, so let's do that. Um, hey. Nothing more awkward than watching me use a calculator. Um, again, I see trick here. Please make sure. Uh, please make sure that when you go into your um, AP exam, that you have your calculator set in radians mode. Um, okay, so now let's choose a window. So I don't want to see unnecessary things. So I just want to see from zero to two, and then um, when it comes to a um, vertical window, I really do like. I can't say this enough. I really do like Zoom Fit for that. Okay, so here's the velocity function. Notice from zero to whatever that number is, it's positive, but then velocity becomes negative uh, for the rest of, of the piece here. So um, let's figure out what um, time value that is where your velocity changed from positive to negative. So just to be clear, the top, the top, when your velocity is positive, that would be the part where your particle was moving forward. And then when your velocity is negative, that would be the part when your velocity is um going backwards. So let's use the zero feature. And then go a little bit to the left. A little bit to the right. And then we've got uh, 1.570796. So I'm just going to sketch a little picture here just for explaining purposes. It's a multiple choice question. So Nobody on a multiple choice test would care how you show your work. They just look at your answer. Um, so this is T approximately 1.57. Okay, now it's up to you um, <clears throat> as to what you want to do with that min that decimal. I'm just going to make sure um, that everybody in my class would be able to use the store feature if you'd like. Okay, just in case every time I ask you if you know how to do this, you're like lying and nodding your head. Yeah. Yes, I know. Anyway, <laughs> somebody out there was. Anyway, so you could store it as any letter that you'd like, and then I could just type in A whenever I mean that value right there. Okay, so now let's find a uh, total distance traveled. So 
So we do the integral from zero to that a value that I'll just say, we just stored this as a, okay. Um, so of v of t, um, and then you do the integral from a to two of velocity, um, but you don't add them together because that would have been the displacement value. So you want to have this value as is, but then you want to add the opposite of the second piece. So, okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. All right, and I ended up with total distance being approximately 2.261 meters, which looks like it matches up with option D. All right, I hope that makes sense, everybody. Take care.